Hey, so really excited to share this latest Plotio update with you. It is uh, dark mode support. So dark mode support, what that means is that if somebody is viewing your emails on a phone or a computer with dark mode enabled, what it will do is it'll allow you to define styles like background colors, text colors, images, whatever, uh, that will change when somebody is looking at your email in dark mode. So truth be told, most email clients will try to attempt to make a lot of your emails forced into a dark mode. And all they really do is they say, hey, if you have a white background, let's make it black. If you have a, you know, a, a dark color, let's, or actually a, a brighter color, let's make it a darker color. And they'll try to basically just flip around any colors that you're using, but it doesn't always work. And where this really tends to backfire is you'll see logos that have black text and then an email sent in the background of that email is black. And so now you have black on black, which means you can't read the text and it, it's just a mess. So fortunately now with Plotio, you can make it so your templates target dark mode. So I'm gonna show you quickly how that is done. So all you need to do is once you're in any email template within Plotio, click the moon icon here and that will enable dark mode. So you're not gonna see any change at first because you don't have any overrides that happen when somebody's looking at it with dark mode. So email clients can decide to, like I said, flip your colors around, but there's nothing that there, there's nothing inherent about an email client that requires them to do that. And a lot of email clients won't do that actually. So turn on dark mode and you're gonna see that nothing changes because I haven't actually defined any changes for when uh, somebody's viewing this email template in dark mode. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out this logo here. So this logo has black text. When, um, if I were to make this background, a darker color, it would not look good because there'd be no contrast. So I'm going to change out this logo with a, um, an equivalent that I have that is meant for uh, being on a darker background. So here now the text is white and the um, colors here are a bit different in the logo. So now this doesn't look that great against this light blue background. So I'm going to click on the home, uh, which gets us down back to the kind of document properties. And I'm going to change the background color here to one I already set up called dark BG. And now we have a dark background with that light logo. This is looking nice, except it's still quite bright. If somebody's looking at this email on a phone with dark mode enabled, uh, this text here is gonna be hard for them to read because they're used to reading white text on black backgrounds. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the container that I have here, um, which is this one actually. And I'm gonna change it from the background color. This is set to the light mode background color that I have. And I'm gonna change this to the dark mode content background color. And now this is looking good. Now we have a darker, but it's still not the same as the background, but a darker content area background. Now I can't read the text. So I'm gonna go back to the document properties. I'm gonna change our text color here from this default kind of blackish color to our light mode. Um, which is light uh, dark mode text area. So this is a color I've I've set up that looks nice on this darker content background. Now I can even go further and I can say, well, let's make it so the headings up here. So we have this heading and subheading. Let's make it so our H ones, our main headings, are going to use this uh, light content BG color, which will be more of a pure white. And same for the H2s. So there we have that. And now this is looking pretty good. So if I were to toggle this off, here's what it would look like to somebody who is looking on like a normal phone or normal computer where they don't have, or it's on light mode, which is the default. But now somebody who gets the same email with uh, their phone set to dark mode, it would look like this, or more specifically like this for a mobile phone. So that's all it takes is just clicking around and saying, you know, enable dark mode, click on what you want to change, change the color, change the text color, the background color, change the logo, whatever you want to do. Now you can go further. You can change margins and padding and everything like that. If you wanted to make it so dark mode would have hundred pixels of padding at the top, you could absolutely do that if you wanted to. But usually most people are going to use this just to change colors. So hopefully this helps. And as always, if you have any questions, let, let uh, reach out, let me know.